So the feedback that the site administration uh, gives me helps me to grow in a sense that um, immediate feedback is a good way for me to f reflect the impact it has on me as a teacher is that it gives me the opportunity again to improve um, in the way that I teach or in the way that I'm providing the information to the students. I guess one example would be during a specific lesson, like a specific math lesson or a specific ELA lesson. Uh, Ms. Clay is good about giving specifics like what she sees in the lesson. Okay, I saw you use the exit ticket and that helps me to reflect and think, okay, I, you know, I'm completing, I'm doing the lesson as it should be done in terms of all the components. The immediate feedback is very important to me because I'm always trying to do my best as a teacher and if I'm getting good feedback that tells me that I'm to keep on doing a good job, keep on going for training. A few years ago, Linwood Unified started our live program and there was an idea that was initially launched by one of our site administrators. The purpose of the program was to be able to provide teachers with immediate feedback based on the classroom observations and all the great things that we were seeing inside the classrooms. As a result of this feedback, our teachers are able to then reflect on their own practice and make adjustments to better support our students. As a result of this live program as well, at the district office, we can provide additional support to our site administrators based on what we're seeing from the live feedback. One of the things that we did recently with our live program is we also included data to support our subgroups. We are now able to see how often and frequently our site administrators are providing feedback to teachers who have a higher number, for example, of foster youth, of unhoused youth, or English learners. And through this process, we are able to provide immediate feedback to our classroom teachers to better support all of our students. The Linwood Instructional Verification eTool was essential for us in being able to manage and navigate through the pandemic. It allowed us as a district to have observations and give teachers immediate feedback as to their instruction and points of improvement. We were able to stay connected and work together to improve instruction in the classroom. So this is our first year using the live tool at Linwood Middle School and we found it very easy to use. All our teachers' information was there. We just had to click some things. Um, but because of the tool, it helped our principal, Mr. Terry and myself, um, follow through with our commitment of visiting uh, every teacher every week, at least once a week. Uh, so the tool helped us monitor that, um, that we were fulfilling that commitment. It gave us a way to give that immediate feedback to the teachers, um, which they responded to as well. The focus part of the observation tool gave us more data on each of the visits that we did. Um, and we could provide feedback on the different parts of the lessons that we were observing. And then it also helped us be more equitable in the visits that we were making across our staff. The feedback that site admin gives me helps me grow as a professional because I'm able to see what they see when they come into my classroom and observe me. It helps me make sure that I am following what I tell myself I'm going to follow and it helps me see what others are seeing so that I can either improve um, or keep doing what I'm doing. The observation feedback um, impacts my students because when I improve my lessons then they're their learning um, is going to improve. One of the functions of the live tool that I really enjoyed was the way that it allowed me to focus my classroom observations. It gave me two options, a pop-in visit or a focused visit. The pop-in allowed me to do a quick visit through the classroom and just give very quick, short information about my visit. However, the focus visit allowed me to spend time in the classroom to be able to see multiple components of the teacher's lesson in order to give them um, feedback from beginning to end. The type of feedback I gave my teachers allowed for us to have an open line of communication. Sometimes at the end of my feedback, I will pose a question that will allow for the teacher an opportunity for them to give me their feedback on how their, um, the lesson went. Here at Linwood Unified School District, we created the live tool, meaning Linwood Instructional Verification e-tool. It was created to monitor instruction and help 
site administrators getting into classrooms and using the data to create decisions for their site. The results of this were we were able to see how our English learners were doing, where we need to focus attention, what professional developments our teachers needed, and what support school sites needed with departments, grade levels, or certain teachers. Some of the discussions that have come from the report are what professional development do we want to provide our teachers for support, uh, what attendance patterns are we seeing, what administrator support do we need, are administrators getting into the classrooms to support their teachers and identifying the needs they need. This tool has helped me get into classrooms by providing an easy template for me to enter the classroom and know exactly what I'm looking for. The impact this has made for our DRS is being able to provide teachers a report on what I'm seeing in the classrooms and what impact it's made on our scores. Something that I really enjoy about this tool is that the teachers are able to respond to me in live time if they have any clarification that they need to provide for the feedback that I gave them. But the tool is very simple to use.